Hi everybody, uh, welcome this morning with me. I'm trying to get my makeup uh, pretty quick so we can hit the road. Um, today I'm just gonna go and play simple, not simple, simple. I'm gonna use the Le Beige, Le Beige uh, water tint uh, foundation. I mean, it's not really foundation, but it's amazing product for uh, people who like to have something on their face. Um, it looks more natural. Um, it doesn't have any full coverage, anything like that. I'm going to use some uh, Dior bronzer. Um, this is one of my favorite. And uh, the new blue Chanel eyeshadow palette. I so much enjoy uh, playing with this uh, little four quad. It's amazing. And this one is in um, the shade uh, 7, 8 uh, Rivash. Uh, it does have that uh, blue pop-up nice color. And a blue eyeliner. It's again from that uh, 2024 uh, spring collection on Chanel and the number is 82. Uh, the name on that uh, blue liner, it is, it was something uh, very um, blue abyss. Um, I like the name of it. Uh, so here we're going to start. So I don't take so much time. Hopefully I'm done in about 10 minutes. So I just get about three pumps of um, that uh, water tint foundation here, how it goes. It's really liquidish. Um, I use that uh, brush it comes with to break apart the little cells in it. And I just dab it. And no primer. Um, I don't need primer. I probably will just put a little bit of... Um, I keep mixing them corrector or I think it's the corrector or a concealer. I'll find out here in a moment. But I uh, I really like using because I really, I, I'm enjoying this one um, on the days when you're trying to hurry up and you don't have much time. This is just an amazing product for when you don't have a whole lot of time. Um, it is... It's a must. It is kind pricey, um, but it just goes a long way. You don't need to um, pump so much from that bottle. Okay, so here I have everything. I do have dark circles underneath. So I'm going to try with that uh, Chanel. Um, and this one is uh, corrector, no, concealer. My mistake, B10 is that concealer of Chanel. Uh, I'm going to just put a little bit. That's, that's all about I need. And I like to use my finger for whatever I can. Let's see, let's use this hand. Okay, now it's a little bit much better. I kind of try to hide those dark circles from all those years of hard work and sleepless night and stress, however you name it. Okay, I think I think I I think I got it. Let's see on the mirror. Yes. About that um, water tint, I do have a sale associate in Denver uh, in Nordstrom. She helped me based on the foundation I have from Chanel. Uh, she was able to match the right water tint for me. Uh, I very rarely go to any of those uh, boutiques we don't have here in Wyoming Nordstrom which is a shame, um, but I'm going to use the bronzer of Dior. I have this, it's about two years, but it's amazing. Um, that's their compact powder. Um, I have been using it. You cannot see anymore the CD logo. I'm sure soon I will reach the bottom. Uh, but until then, I'm going to use, I really like that Chanel brush for bronzer to apply bronzer. It is the number 102. Uh, actually say foundation blend but 
um, a sale associate recommend for bronzer as well and especially when you have those um, cream bronzers but I like it also um, with my compact bronzer so let's just try a little bit never overdo and a little bit right here can't see much I'm trying to use a light in the daylight just as a more uh, color more more light um, but I think that should be enough eyeshadow I I use my fingers I have a couple of brushes um, I do like uh, this Mary Kay brush um, it is all over eyeshadow um it really nice blends and just uh, spread around the eyeshadow and then start with that champagne color that one i really like um <clears throat> and let's see where this will take me will it take me to wash it away again or it will work out When I close my eyes and I'm without glasses, I barely see anything. So, please excuse me. Now, when this is placed, I'm going to use... Um, I watch another YouTuber. I like how she did her makeup, so I'll try to do it as the way she showed. So, I'm going to use this uh, white bottle. Um color but i will use my my finger and i believe that's the way she she showed and you just place it right on the uh top of the, your eyelash and the same it's going to be on that c on the other side which i have to use different fingers mm -hmm. Those, those eyeshadows are so amazing and so fun to play. Um, I, I'm so glad that I was able to grab them. And I think I put way too much of that sparkle, but we'll fix it. Everything is fixable. Okay, now, now it's more even. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Maybe if I place it like that, it's more visible. Uh, next, we're going to go with the blue, which I adore so much. And uh, let's again use my finger. And then I keep forgetting I use the same finger as... <laughs> For left and right, but I should do this. Okay. A little more. I think I've got it. And then a little more to that one. All right. I think I've got with this one. Now, because I put too much right here of that whole mess <laughs> i would try to kind of go over and, and see if i can hide it i will use that brown uh neutral color this one and then i will just use my eyeliner and this is it um is um okay as a mascara i will use the eye clash on YSL I really like eye clash and I think with that mint color on Dior um, nail polish the new one I just had an unboxing if you haven't checked it please uh, check out that uh, unboxing 
uh, eyeshadow and nail polish they kind of match um, the nail polish is in uh, mint color but I think it works now a little bit more of that neutral just so I can hide some of that big sparkleness and now blue eyeliner and this is it i like having uh quick makeups on the go i love the colors it is amazing pop-up and almost done i'm just trying to go as much as i can and allows on my um edge where the eyelashes are coming out uh, that way i don't have a big gap and nobody sees uh, that um what's the word i keep forgetting words um the color of my skin and then a little bit down here and I think this time it's more visible from the previous time when I tried to use uh, this uh, um, set of eyeshadows when i first got them and i unboxed them uh right now it's more visible of what i've did and applied i think this one needs a little bit more of that blue um blue eyeliner so let's just try to make it even um even the human body it's not even let's just make it i think now it's perfect now I need to use some eyeshadow, uh, no eyeshadow, but um, mascara. This is the mascara, I really like using it and uh, let's try to apply it. Um, <clears throat> and let's see what it will happen. Then lipstick and that's it. And we're out on the road. I have been keep mentioning that um, when I place the wand, the, I like to um, kind of stick the wand, hold it, and then like twirl, twirl, twirl the lashes. Just like that. Okay, now for the other. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have a favorite mascara? I have tried a Dior one. Um, I have tried the Chanel pop-up one, but so far this one is my favorite one. Um... I'm always afraid that I will poke and I will get out my eyeball. <laughs> because I have done some pokes on the eye and this one is definitely not fun. Okay. I think, I think I've got it. Here how that I, um, the eyelashes, they come through the, with the eye, eye, with a lash clash mascara here is how your eyelashes can look with the lash clash mascara um i'm hoping that i'm hoping that it is visible it's it's amazing it's amazing how it just lifts them and it makes them um bigger and um volumed and uh, just spreads the eyelashes i i love it 
and now i will go with a neutral color as a lipstick i have my dior lip liner which is in the shade 824 and then sing singer men sharpted this time is sharped and i'm going to do a swatch so um it is very nice espresso color it is very dark on the lips so let's see what we are going to make Wow, wow, that's why we have the brush. And your fingers. Mm. I do like me sometimes to have those both bold dark colors. Um, now let's see what to go as a lipstick. I have a Givenchy neutral neutral color, which this one is in the shade uh, ten beige nude. Um, it is quite velvety it's nice i like how um the lid goes on i also have uh, this dior um 418 uh, beige oblique color which is more darker it's kind of close to uh the lipstick and it's satin shiny so let's just try to go with that and mm lips i think are done let's check with this yes i know it is super dark i usually wear red pink lipsticks but um it's good to have uh, here and there some uh, nice uh, brown bold colors and i think with the lip liner um this kind uh, of dior oh, 824 it's amazing um and it's a good combination uh what do you guys what do you guys think i think i think that should be good i should be ready and we should hit the road oh let's put some earrings and make make it all nice and neat uh, i got those uh, earrings through amazon uh they're super cute uh, they're kind of double double ones and then you can just wear either or um michael kors ring and this is my first diamonds i bought for myself many many years ago just to i can prove that i can do on my own and this is the look i'm going to have today uh, for our trip to casper and go pick up my kiddo i will see you next time i hope you guys enjoy my video and uh, please if you have been watching it uh, through point one to point b please hit that like and subscribe button if you're new um i would like and i would love to see you joining my channel bye bye